the historic liberal arts college has been through a series of financial woes over the years. Uh, you may remember last year they were in a $30 million hole and begged for donors to try to keep them afloat. They were able to get enough to stay open for a full academic year, but the money eventually dried up. Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin calling the decision to close the college heartbreaking and disappointing that lawmakers in Montgomery couldn't see how important the college is. Alabama Congresswoman Terry Sewell also disappointed by the news. She sent her condolences to the students, faculty and staff who will now have to navigate an uncertain future. WVTM 13's Jarvis Robertson spoke with those who worked so hard to try and save the historic school. Never forget the time that you had here, whether it was one year to 20 years. Matthew Dale will graduate from Birmingham Southern College in May. The time he spent here will forever be cherished. The school's closing comes after years of financial trouble. Even after last year's scare, Dale knew this place was where he was supposed to be. I still knew that I wanted to attend Birmingham Southern. It's always been a, a place of home for me. I grew up in the neighborhood right behind Birmingham Southern, and so I couldn't imagine myself is not who I am to, to get up and flee from a place just because we're in danger. But he never gave up hope. We were expecting a different outcome. The reality of reality has finally set in. Representative Wanderlyn Gavan worked with Birmingham Southern's President Daniel Coleman to move forward legislation. There's not an appetite by my colleagues, Republican or Democrat, to move uh, any further with any legislation. Um, or any revised legislation. She believes this process was, quote, a train wreck waiting to happen. Gavan feels the Education Trust Fund chairperson and others should have been kept in the loop. We were able to secure Representative Garrett as a source of support last year. Why deviate and stray from the course that you were on? So then you start having these meetings with this person, clandestine meetings with this person and this person. Last year, legislators passed a bill that would allow the state treasurer to loan emergency funds to colleges in financial distress. However, new legislation would have gone a different route. When you decided, OK, I'm going to go after the treasurer and have the treasurer's name removed out of the legislation. Now you take the treasurer out, you have the executive director of higher education. I can venture, I feel I can venture to say, even if the bill were to have made it out of the house, I think the governor would have vetoed the bill. Um, young Boozer is very well respected. Gavan feels the lack of support from corporate partners and the county also made it harder for the college to remain open. As for Dale, he says BSC raised him to look at the positives in life and prepared him for the next stage. We're going to make the most out of our the rest of the time that we have together, just out of the love that we have for our community. And he leaves his fellow students with much hope for the future. My grandmother, uh, she told me uh, right before she passed away to never forget her color. Her favorite color was purple. And so I, I, I say the same thing to Birmingham Southern students. Never forget your colors. We are black and yellow. Jarvis Robertson, WVTM 13. And we've been covering Birmingham Southern's crusade to try and stay open for all of our coverage. Visit our website or download the WVTM 13 app.